What's up guys, it's Mr. Isaac16 here, and I'm going to be showing you the save editor again. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people have troubles and and have been asking me questions about it. And, like, I could. I've helped y'all guys over comments and, and typing and messaging y'all guys back, but it's kind of a hard process to do, or to type to explain. So I'm making another video to try to uh, be more clear with it. Uh, and right now I'm at the point of already at my computer. But to do this, you guys should have a flash drive of some sort with more than 4 gigs. Um, you want to go ahead and configure that to your Xbox so that it can save memory to it. Mine was configured and once you configure your xbox or this flash drive to your xbox it's going to be used as a memory unit and what you want to do with your xbox is you want to go to dark souls and you want to instead of choosing your hard drive you choose your flash drive and you create a whole new character a whole new character from from scratch and as soon as you get into the asylum the starting area in Dark Souls, you can go ahead and save and quit once you make your character. And the reason being is that the save editor does not just like magically create your character. You have to have a, a base character already built and that that's why you do that. Um, okay, so at this point I have already made my character and it's already on the flash drive and what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna plug in your flash drive into your computer. Okay, and a lot of you guys have been telling me that Modio is not the same and you can't see like Modio is different and stuff. Like the version of Modio that you wanna have for this, well, that I personally run because I think it's the best. I've used it for a couple years now since it first came out as the beta ver version. I run Modio 3.0. You can find it on Google. There's uh, quite a few places where you can find Modio 3.0. Uh, but anything over uh, over 3.0, is there's been a lot of changes to it. So it's just a lot harder to run. And 3.0 is really smooth. So you just want to go ahead and go to like Google and download the 3.0. Uh, Mario and the save editor I'll have that linked in the description too you want to have WinRAR uh, if you don't know what WinRAR is it's a it's a file opener like you can open files with WinRAR like RAR files and stuff uh, I'm, I'm sure that you could probably do it without WinRAR but it's a lot better to have it um, considering it doesn't save to your hard drive when you use WinRAR so what you do from there is you're gonna go open up Mario 3.0, which I've already done this and I'm already in the save editor process, but I'll show you what you do. Okay, so you're gonna wanna open Mario. This is what 3.0 looks like. 3.0 looks like this. So you guys just letting you guys know. You're gonna wanna hit Explore Device. I've already clicked it, so I don't need to do it again. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to that, and you're gonna see. The first thing you're gonna see is Let's explore my device again. Content. Click on it, content. Click on the E file. It's going to be the 4E4 game saves. And it's going to be the DRAC file. And you're going to want to extract that to your desktop. Your desktop. Because it's a lot easier to find on your desktop. I've already done that. So I'm just going to close this out. And, okay, from then on. I have the save file. You're going to want to open the save editor, which I already have open. And you're going to want to hit file, load file, local, and go to desktop. And you're going to want to find that drag file and just open it up on this. I've already done that. It's already loaded. I have my new character, which is AAA. It should pop up right there as AAA or whatever you named your character. Now, there was a glitch and it hasn't been patched for the save editor and it's uh, it's a really bad 
bad um, bug in the save editor. If you go ahead and get like all the weapons and shields and magics and items and stuff, uh, but you don't get the key items, it'll bug out your game and you won't be able to pick up any key items at all, meaning you won't be able to get the Lord Vessel or keys in general, so you won't be able to leave, leave the asylum in the first place, so you'll just ruin the whole game for you, you won't be able to play through it. But, uh, in the recent update on the, on the save editor, you can now put key items into your inventory, just like the weapons and shields and stuff, so you're going to want to go ahead and hit click on the scan only empty slots and hit scan and it's going to scan and it's have all these empty slots and there's not you don't want to do anything with these and you want to hit add all items all key items and hit overwrite the first 32 slots and hit save changes okay now that's been saved now you can go ahead and go to anything all items all weapons all shields all all that I'm gonna go ahead and go all armor and we're gonna hit scan all empty slots or only empty slots it might take a while because armor there's a lot of armor in the game and hit all items from that overwrite and wait a little bit and there you go there's all the armors in the game there's gonna be a couple empty slots and stuff but don't worry about that uh, just hit save changes again Okay, once it saves, it should have a little pop-up. There you go. And you're going to want to go to or whatever you want to. You can go bows and arrows, items, magics, rings, shields. I'm just going to go all weapons. Uh, I don't really care for the magics and the pyromancies and stuff, which I can all... I I get those normally. It's not, not a problem. You don't want to hit scan. Again, only empty slots. And it's going to bring up more empty slots. You don't want to add all items. And the weapons, there's a lot of weapons, so it's going to take quite a bit. Just wait a little bit. It might take a little slower, longer, faster for you, depending on what kind of computer you run. And it's going to hit save changes. It's going to take a long time. Okay. I'm just going to stop there, but you can go ahead and go items. Uh, you can do items. You can change how many you get, like down here. Durability, quantity. Uh, there, you you can change how many of the things you get. I'm just gonna hit add all items for. Let's just go with items, and let's go. Uh, let's add 999 of them. Let's see. Okay. Well, that didn't work too well. Um, maybe it's this one. Okay, there we go. You know, if you want to add more than just one of the item, you want to click right here and change it to whatever number you want to. Uh, it's usually stay within 99, but with these, with like the regular items, you can go up to 999, and bow it, and bows and arrows and stuff too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save changes. Hit OK, and see as uh, mine. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it at that. There's no reason for me to go any higher than that. But okay, that's just adding items, and I just showed you how to add items. You always have to hit scan only empty slots first before you change this to whatever you want it to be. And that's how you then after you have all empty slots, you hit add all items, and then you save. And that's how you add items. You can also edit your character's attributes. Uh, this is kind of where everyone kind of gets mad and uh, hates you. <laughs> so we're just going to go level... Let's go 6. Or 10. Let's go 10. And you can change the <laughs> level of your HP. 99999. This is where everyone starts to get the real hacking in. Uh, let's see, my stamina 99999. With these values and stamina and health, you'll uh, you probably 
won't die in a in a combat situation unless you get knocked off a cliff or someone has a weapon with bleeding damage. Um, but I tend not to use the health anymore at all. I just use stamina because stamina is kind of the big thing for me. I kind of like rolling around with heavy armor. <laughs> I don't like to just be slug sluggish. Uh, you can enable warping to all the bonfires. You can change your gender, your class, and your gift and physique and stuff here. You can join the covenant. Uh, you just want to hit save changes whenever you're done with all your editing. Hit OK. Close that out. And you're going to hit file. Save. Fix. STFS. It's uh, basically a sa save, rehash, and resign. It's going to overwrite the previous file on your desktop. So you just want to click that. It'll take a little bit. File has been rehashed and resigned. Now you can close this out. The drag file that you had on your desktop that you extracted. You just want to open up your device explorer from Mario. You're going to want to uh, delete the drag file, the first one. And then you want to insert the new one. It's in, that was on your desktop. Okay, so you want to open Drac. Okay, once it's injected, you can hit File, Open Close Drive, and it, you should be fine from then on out. You can close Mario. Uh, you can you can pull your USB from from your computer. You can use the safety thing, but I don't really do that because there's no need. And go ahead and plug it back into your Xbox and start it up again. The reason I I choose to use WinRAR as as my file opener is because it doesn't save to your disk to your disk or to your hard drive on your computer. So it doesn't waste any memory. Um, with this save editor, you, you have to re-download it every time. So that's w once you use it once, it won't work again. I don't know why the creators of this uh, save editor didn't fix it, but it's like that. So you have to re-download it every time, which it's not a big file in the first place. It takes about a couple seconds, and I run a normal computer. I don't have any kind of advanced computer like... Uh, for like World of Warcraft or anything, I just have a normal computer. It shouldn't take that long, and then you just do the same process you did before again to change. And okay, I just loaded up that save file that I just edited, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the things of it. Okay, this is the new. new character right there um, he's kind of you know he's brand new character I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the items I got all the items you see that I put in Let's see I got all the items that I put in all the key items, all the weapons, all the armors, and I didn't give any rings or anything, but uh, you can go ahead and see my stats as well. You can get a close up on those. Uh, they've all been edited too, so uh, it, it works completely fine. It still works, it's not, there's no difference. It, uh, it says it does no damage modifier, so you're gonna have normal damage with normal weapons, but it works completely fine, guys. It still runs 100% smooth with it. Uh, uh, I hope that uh, answered most of your questions. You can go ahead and message me and comment if you still don't get it, and I'll try to do my best to help you. But I think that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Uh, it's Mr. Isaac 16 here, and...
Peace.